Good day. Welcome to King William Rose Everything. Today I want to kind of show everybody something uh, kind of fun with RetroPipe. There's a, a section in here. Uh, let's find it. Ports. And what I did the other day is I did, um, you can do like upgrade, install, or install upgrades, all packages, that kind of thing. And it puts all the fun stuff um, that wasn't on there by default. And it puts a lot of neat stuff under ports. Let's see, where are you? Da, da, da. Ports, ports, ports. So what you kind of see in here is it added a whole bunch of neat games. Um, Cave Story, Descent, Descent 2, Doom 3, Doomsday Engine, Duke Nukem 3D, uh, Guiana's Return, I uh, don't remember that one, uh, Cody, uh, Cody if you want to do some, uh, you know, some streaming, movie streaming, uh, TV streaming, that kind of thing. I play with this a little bit, it's kind of slow, it, wor it works. Uh, Lin City, I think that's kind of like a, a Sim City clone. Marathon, I don't remember this game, must have been popular as Marathon 2 and Marathon Infinity. Uh, Micropolis, Mystery Masters, Compilation of 15 Casual Games, Hidden Objects, uh, Open TTD, Transport Tycoon Deluxe, um, oh, uh, Transport Tycoon Deluxe Remake, Open Tyrant, uh, Vertical Scrolling Shooter, Prince of Persia, Quake 4, Benos Quake 4, Space Engine, Super Mario War, uh, this looks kind of be kind of interesting. Uh, stop as many of Mario as possible to win the game. It's tribute to Nintendo and the game Mario War by Samuel Poletto. Super Tux. Uh, I barely know Super Tux if you ever played with Linux. Uh, it's an okay game. It's not much fun, but, you know, for free. Uh, Chaos Engine. Wolfenstein 3D. And x Rick, which I think is uh, like a clone of Rick Dangerous. Something like that. Maybe what we'll do is just, let's see if we maybe play... I don't know. What do you think? Doom 3. Let's give it a test, see how it works. And we'll say launch. Why not? Let's launch it. Doom 3. Now some of these games, I've played a couple. It seems like you needed the um, <coughs> a keyboard kind of make them work or to play them correctly so this one looks like a keyboard either that or it, it needs a keyboard or maybe I don't have my uh, my joystick set up correctly new game I'm using a little uh, Bluetooth keyboard apparently that wasn't okay somewhere this is a return okay well let's try some, something else try Quake. I think some of these you have to play with a little bit to get them to work. I saw Quake in here. Quake 4. And of course say launch. There we go. Single player. New game. See my guy was running. Oh yeah, don't jump on the lava. That guy's in the lava. Alright, gotta get the... I hope I'm going the easy one. There we go. Alright, I think some of these you have to... Same as the original one, you have to put, pay for them. There we go. Easy skill. That's my level. Easy. Third episode. Okay. So you get the idea. It does work. Um, so you'd have to play it and see how it works. But um, you know, for the price, you can't beat it. So I think it's. I really, really recommend um, going in, uh, installing all the updates for this. Because uh, then you finally get coded. You can manually install a lot of this stuff, but I, I just, like I said, I just did. Um, uh, you wanted to like install 
upgrade all pack all pack uh, whatever and uh, you know got all these neat little games so kind of a nice little distraction also uh, when I did that I got uh, oh Infocom so I put the Zork 1, 2, and 3 so that's kind of nice uh, and of course we want to launch it bam there you go it's kind of hard to read on this screen um, you know, it was probably originally figure. Um, so it kind of looks like it works. Fade on with the old 8 bit computers, you know, Apple IIs and Commodore 64s and that kind of thing. Probably don't want to play it on HD, but you could if you wanted to. So, anyway, just something I kind of saw in, in uh, uh, RetroPie. That I, I I know this before. I just didn't. There was nothing really in there. I think there's maybe a couple things by default. But you know, you get Cody, so that's kind of cool that you can you know if you you can use the that um, retro pie for more than just a video game. So anyway, uh, have a wonderful day.